What's up everybody, Gamerboy for Life here, and today I am making a video on how to make a better ESP. Uh, by this, I just mean like a cleaner looking, like, and the code and stuff, like, it's just gonna be more smooth. Um, I made the mistake in my ESP video to where I made these three different classes, and I only included chest ESP, mob ESP, and player ESP. So, what I'm gonna do, I am going to make another one. And this is all just going to be one mod and you can toggle like which of them you want activated if that makes sense alrighty so let's just jump straight into it so in render we're going to make a new class we're just going to name it esp public void setup and so the setup command is basically just for when we use our g click gui so we could do paradox dot instance dot settings manager dot r setting and here we're going to make a new setting control space to open this little menu and we could click on this the name of this i'm going to name it player and it, the parent's going to be this and the b value is going to be set to false now however many like different types of uh esps you want to make uh, that's what we're about to do so like right here is player all I have to do is copy and paste this down a line, change player to, for instance, chest, and I'll make two different ones. Oh, we go down again. I can make this um, hostile mobs. Whatever you put in uh, to the quotations, make sure it's only one word. It makes it much easier. And right here, I could do friendly mobs, which I will be adding uh, this stuff. And now if we go down, um, down to here is where we can actually start adding all of our old code. So for instance, public void on render, all of them are going to be inside of this render method. So what we could do is if this is toggled space and if paradox dot instance dot settings manager dot get setting by name. And this uh, one, we're going to do player because we just uh, specified the player uh, option up here. And now we need to go outside the first parenthesis and do dot get value val boolean. So basically what this is going to be is if we toggle this module and if um, this player option is toggled, it's going to run this code. So in here, we can put our um, player code, which we did object E MC dot the world dot loaded entity list. Uh, if E is instance instance of entity player, then we're gonna do mob ESP utils dot entity ESP box. And here we're gonna put entity. Um, close th this off E I don't like that space right there and the mode is gonna be set to zero alrighty now I just have to import the minecraft entity and there's the first one now we can go down to here and keep adding them so for instance this one if this dot is toggled and if paradox if paradox dot instance dot settings manager dot get get setting by name this one will do chest dot get valuable boolean and i accidentally deleted one of those there we go so now we do the code for this so for object i'm just gonna use o for this one since we used e for the last one mc dot the world dot loaded entity list if o is instance of tile entity chest we're gonna do chest esp utils chest esp utils dot block esp box and here we're gonna put tile entity chest o um, then go outside this one and do dot get position. 
there we go. Um, what's giving me an error here? Now we can go down again and just repeat the steps, which I'm actually just going to copy the one we did for entity down to here. And instead of player, I'm going to put hostile mobs and entity player. We're going to change this with entity mob, which I got to import that class. Um, we get import. Actually, we got to change E to H. Um, right here, we're going to change this to H as well. And let's see what these. Oh, I got to change this one to H and that should fix it. Ah, I messed something up when I copy and pasted it. Now I just gotta figure it out. Because copy and pasting never works. There we go. Yeah, for some reason it unimported. So this next one, we're just gonna type it manually. Uh, and for the last one, we have a uh, friendly mob. So if this dot is toggled, we're gonna do and and paradox dot instance dot settings manager dot get setting by name we're going to put friendly mobs dot get valuable boolean and inside of here we're going to do for object f for friendly mobs mc dot the world wait maybe world dot loaded entity list if f is instance of entity animal then we're gonna do mob esp utils dot entity esp and instead of here we're gonna do entity uh what we specify f and the mode's gonna be zero so i'm actually gonna show you guys watch i'm gonna delete player esp from our old code we're gonna delete chest esp all the old esps and we're only gonna use this class oh i just pressed <clears throat> actually just hit everything instead of pressing control s i press windows s uh now instead of module manager we can delete those three and do new mod new um esp now if we load the game okay now that we're in the game, we can load up MCP. And inside, now that we're in here, we can open up render. If we click on ESP, as you can see, nothing happens. If we right click on ESP, we have player, chess, hostile, friendly mobs. Player, there's no other players in the game, so I'm the only one getting surrounded by a box. Um, chest ESP. I, I don't think there's any chests near me. Hold on. Uh, chest. Not. I don't think a trap chest will show. Yeah. Wait. Uh, so we did mess something up on the chest DSP, which I will fix in a minute. Don't worry. Um, hostile mobs. As you can see, all the mobs underground are getting lit up. Friendly mobs. If I like sheep, if I spawn a sheep, they get highlighted. Alrighty. Now let's see where we went wrong with the chest DSP. I don't think that changed anything, but let me just double check. Alrighty, let's give chest ESP another shot. Yep, it's working now. Like, you can see a chest down there. See one a couple over there, a couple over here underground. It's a good way to find, like, strongholds and stuff. Oh. And, actually, I'm going to show you guys how to make X-Ray. Um, yeah, the recording's only been going on for 10 minutes. I could do this. So, I'm going to delete my current X-Ray class. Alrighty. So now we can start getting ready on making X-Ray. For this, we're going to make a new class instead of render named X-Ray. Inside of here, we're going to in the drill, extend it from our module. If I can type correctly. Extends module. Import the module class, add the constructor. Delete this and fill out this so we're gonna name it x-ray i am gonna set a keybind to this so keyboard dot key underscore x uh, we're gonna put the category and render now we're gonna add override so because this involves like drawing stuff to the screen so override public void on enable 
in here we're gonna do x-ray dot enabled oh crap sorry we got to make a couple things for this class in here we're gonna do a public static boolean and we're gonna say it's enabled we're gonna private flow our old gamma we're gonna do a public array list we're gonna input block and it's gonna be called x-ray blocks and this will make a new array list or block import everything we need we're going to use mycart.net.block.block .block, and there we go now we can come down here and do x-ray dot enabled so we can set our x-ray boolean to enabled oh wait that'll equal true um mc dot game settings i'm getting this all mixed up this dot old gamma equals mc dot game settings dot gamma settings we're gonna do mc dot game settings dot gamma settings we're gonna set this to 10 f um that should 10.0 f sorry that will like light up the screen and stuff so we can actually see the blocks we're gonna do mc dot game settings dot ambient occlusion we're gonna set this to zero um we're gonna do mc dot render global dot load renders now we can go under this and override again this will be public void on disable instead of here we're going to do x-ray dot enabled equals false we're going to do mc dot game settings dot gamma settings equals this dot old gamma so we're just setting it to our old gamma settings we were using uh, mc dot game settings dot ambient occlusion to equal one which is minecraft's default ambient occlusion mc dot render uh, be, 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 be. mc dot render global um dot load renders now we could go down one more and we're gonna make a boolean it's gonna be called should x-ray the block and here we're going to input block as blocked id i need to change this to say boolean because i can't spell uh in here we're going to do if this dot not a nine if this dot x ray blocks dot contains lock id then it's going to return true and if it doesn't, we're going to go down and do return false. So now that that's just the x-ray class done, we can add it inside of our renderer or our module manager, so new x-ray. But nothing is going to show up when we actually go to run this because we actually got to specify which blocks we want to x-ray when we enable it. So for this, we're going to go into our block.java. You're going to press control F and look up should side uh, be rendered. And you'll find this right here should said be rendered i block access everything um and here since we're editing the minecraft code we're gonna add a little tag for paradox uh, we're gonna do if this equals block dot get block by id um this number for instance 14 um the block id 14 is gold ore uh, this will return true now we could do if this uh, I could just copy and paste this my bad um so 14 is gold ore you could look up like the minecraft ID codes for iron ore it will be 15 yeah so after your last one just go down under return true and we're gonna do if x-ray dot enabled going to return false there we go um we could get rid of that extra code this line still needs to be in here now if we load up minecraft how long has this recording been going on for 22 minutes by the time i cut it down it'll be a little shorter so now that we're loading our clients we could go into mcp world now i am going to warn you inside of eclipse it could be a little buggy like we pressed f 
like you can see all the ores in the ground but as you can see it's it can be a little buggy like if we go down more yeah we can see more of the stuff well um that will be it for this video sorry it's been a while since my last video i've just been busy with school and working every day well if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you leave a like and subscribe um some of the comments where you guys are recommending uh like classes and stuff i'm working on it it's just i'm trying to get a video out today and uh yeah if you guys like i said if you enjoyed leave a like it's free subscribe i'm trying to hit a thousand subs by the end of the year to release my private discord server for everyone so i'll see you guys all in the next video peace out